Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to be turning this utility razor into a beautiful miniature chef knife, about one six scale size that uh, Barbie would use. I'm gonna see how sharp I can get this thing. Things first, I'm going to be grinding this thing on <clears throat> the flat part of my grinder, the flat attachment. I'm gonna keep it wet and my nice beautiful water right here. Keep this nice and cool so that the temper doesn't get out of this thing. I don't wanna have to harden and temper this. So I'm gonna grind it cold. So there is the back half, roughly ground. I'm gonna flip it around and do the handle where I'm gonna be doing the handle part. And uh, be careful not to cut my scissors. It's about as far as I want to go with the grip and I can add a little bit more shapes to it. Once I get the handle skills on me, I'm going to work on the front edge because I've got to bring that, bring the, the blade edge up a little bit and the back down to make it look like a nice chef knife. And then we'll work on honing that edge. I'm getting rid of this bevel at least I don't want to have that kind of bevel on there. I want to put that, that bevel all the way to the spine so it looks like a scaled down miniature ship So we're at the jewelry bench now. I'm going to use the rotary tool and use this little mini sanding disc to get the flats established on the blade as well as clean it up. But that's overall the profile I was going for. I might skinny out the, the grip a little bit at, the, at the, the collar there to make it a little bit more scaled down. Because if this, what I wanted to do is if this was a real butcher knife, I would like to make it like perfectly scaled to where you can't tell how big this thing is if I take a picture of it. blade shape and bevel it's already sharp but what I might do is uh, or I am definitely going to continue to sharpen it but at least the profile is done now I'm gonna work on the handle and I started to kind of take down the back of the, the spine of the of the grip so I'm gonna continue that down but first I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the holes where I'm gonna put my uh, tang pins or my scale pins I'm sorry just like with any knife you have to anneal the metal this is a razor a straight razor so or not straight razor I'm sorry this is a utility razor blade so it's really really hard and I just use the torch to soften up where I'm gonna drill because this little drill bit was not going through it now let's see if so I got one of the tang holes uh, did but as you can see the drill bit skated across that area couldn't get through not even with a nice new sharp drill bit so I'm gonna heat it up with the torch again and um, soften that tang you have to do this on real on the big knives as well so it's kind of funny to have to do it on such a small piece there we go that's what you want to do so now I'll just work down my fine or uh, medium to fine sanding discs and work down the surface to where I get a nice gleaming polish on this blade 
and then I will work on putting the handle scales on. But now the hole, the holes are drilled. They're ready to put the pens in. And I was thinking about using wood, but I might you also use metal. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to make some handle scales out of this slab of ebony that I have. I'm going to use uh, the ebony to make the scales and possibly the block that it goes in to, to stick on to the magnet, uh, to the refrigerator magnet attachment. And then for the pin, I got this perfect size copper tubing. So it will be copper and I might find some some wire to go in the middle to do a brass uh, mosaic pen technically where brass wire goes inside the copper so it's a copper ring with brass sort of like targets on the pen area so we'll see how that goes this copper tube and I'm going to take some brass wire that is the perfect diameter to go inside the tubing like so now I'm just going to cut it off from there where it's solid. So this is a rudimentary um, mosaic pen. You just gotta be careful that the little, the, the rod doesn't come out while I'm working with it. cut the other one on the bandsaw. Alright, so I have two matched equal sides. Side one and side two. I'm gonna file those flat and then get this section where I can't get to. Uh, round it off um, before I uh, start to assemble the, the scales on there. Also, I'm going to polish this up some more. I'm going to actually use some. I'll take this to the buffer and polish this up. Through the buffing machine and what the scratches that I'm seeing on here, I want it to look really, really good. So I'm going to hand sand it. It's only like an inch and a half piece of steel, so it's gonna take a little while, but I'm gonna go up the stages all the way from like, I got two, all the way up to 2000 grit, but I'm gonna start at 180 grit and go up from there. Eight hundred. Lastly, two thousand. That's that mirror edge I was looking for. That's a nice finish.
We used some glue with some super glue with the Max Maxi Cure Extra Thick with the Insta Set spray. It smells like cherries to me. Glued one side, and I'm gonna drill out those holes. Then glue the other side. Then pin it. So the holes are drilled. Now I'll glue the other side and use those as pilot holes to drill the other side. And since I tapered the front part already, I don't even have to touch that part of the, of the blade. I will just grind off the rest of the handle and shape it. Got my blocky handle all glued. I'm going to drill out the other side, pin it, and then I will shape the grip and do the final sharpening. Okay, so the pins are in, handles are glued on. I'm gonna take it to the big grinder and grind away this little chunk. Shouldn't take long, because it's after all a miniature anyways. All right, oh. Now that that knife is done, I'm going to make the block that this can go in safely. Right now, this is a razor. It will cut you. Um, I actually dropped it and I, I, I went to catch it between my legs and I thought, wow, that was not a good idea to slam my knees together with this thing falling. Anyways, um, I'm gonna make the block from maybe, oh yeah, I mean, it's gonna go here and here. And the two halves go together so it'll be a, a skinny stick and on the back side of it will be a, a um, magnet so that when you slide in it will stick to it and it will also be able to stick to the refrigerator so nice and flush and safe and you have your little utility knife. A razor and a scored uh, an area around where the blade will be. Now I'm going to take my drill, my jeweler's flex shaft here and hollow out one side of the block so that this will slide in nice and neat. I'm going to cut this in half right there and just basically take this part and flip it over. the home stretch I'm gonna install this rare earth magnet into the block here right where the blade is and that way when the blade goes in it's held in with a magnet and the magnet holds it onto the refrigerator. Magnets installed, blade goes in nicely, it's held in place. I just gotta put this piece on top, glue it, and then shape the rest of the block which is nice and easy because it's a block. I'll stop with the initial shape of this um, block sheath. Uh, so what I'll do from here is take it down, sanding it, getting all these other big scratches out of it, do hand sanding from here on out, and then maybe polish it up and then we go.